We're back with Dr. Kelly Gephardt, a veterinarian at Happy Tales Veterinary Emergency Clinic in Greensboro. And we're talking about how to keep your pets safe this fall and winter. And she's taking your questions, so you can always text them. They're at the bottom of the screen right there. All right, so one of the questions that we have is, my cat is old, became blind. Are there any tips that I can do to help offer her a better quality of life? I think the most important one is not moving furniture in the house, not not rearranging furniture because they can pets can actually navigate their home very well when they're blind because they have very good memory um, and improving that quality of life in that way so that she's not bumping into things and hitting her head. Um, that would be the number one thing. Um, dogs, they actually have these halo collar for dogs that you can put on and it protects their little faces so they bump, don't bump into things, but I don't know a cat would do that very well. Um, and those, those are the two things I think, and just making sure she has a lot of like tactile and smell stimulation to still enjoy her life, right? Catnip and cardboard scratchies and fabric, like carpet scratchies, things to stimulate those other senses, I think are very important for her quality of life as well. Okay, is giving boiled chicken to your dogs good for them? Not bad, it's good, it's a lean meat, as long as they don't have kidney disease. Um, and with kidney disease, you do want a lower protein diet. So as long as they don't have kidney disease, I think it's totally fine and delicious. Okay. Uh, this person says their dachshund is 10 years old and they got one of those treadmill pads. How long should he be on the treadmill? He's in pretty good shape. I guess they have a treadmill for the dog to walk on. <laughs> I love that. I think you, it's just like people. You, you want to, you know, gradually increase the amount of time every day. Um, you don't want to do like a, you want to do a couch to 5K training program. <laughs> you don't want to just get out there and like weekend warrior it and then they're too sore to do it. So just increase a little bit, maybe like 2% every week on the amount that they spend total. Um, I think it really depends on your starting athletic at level versus, you know, where you want to go. So a little bit every day, just like we would maybe an additional five minutes every day. Um, lots of treats and rewards and making sure it's a positive thing. And dachshunds are a great breed for joint supplements because they're little chondrodystrophic legs, little short legs, they, they can have some cartilage issues and getting them on joint supplements since you're increasing the activity is also an awesome idea. Okay. Uh, this person's asking, any effective home remedies for dogs that have itchy skin? Um, probably, I, I'd have to say probably not um, because you have to get to the bottom of why it's itchy. Is it just dry skin or is it allergies? Is it food allergies, environmental allergies? Um, and determining the cause of the itchy skin is very important. And then with itchy skin comes inflammation. With inflammation comes secondary bacterial or fungal infections, which are also itchy. So determining the root cause is very important. And then once you figure that out, is there a home remedy, like maybe some moisturizer or some conditioner versus dealing with the underlying allergy and secondary complications. So a proper assessment is most important really before I can answer that question. I've never heard of a moisturizer for a dog. Mm -hmm. There's something called relief spray. Um, I think it's now called Premox spray, but it has some colloidal oatmeal and some topical anesthetic in it. Very moisturizing <coughs> and itchies in allergic dogs. I think it's fantastic. Um, the, you can also use just general conditioner after a bath. These things are really good. And, you know, people ask all the time, what about coconut oil? Yeah, it's good. I think coconut oil is fine as long as they don't lick it, but it also kind of can rub off it pretty quickly. Um, there are different balms and ointments that you can put on paws, which I think are fine as long as they don't lick them. And also they're gonna rub off pretty quickly when they walk in your house or your carpet for feet. But, um, so there are definitely options out there. Okay, well then I'm gonna ask my own question because my dog, since she is that chocolate lab, she's on her like elbows a lot and they get like rubbed off, right? Cause we have hardwood floors. Is there anything to help with that? Yeah, um, that's just kind of normal wear and tear and a little hair loss. And the, as long as she gets older, she's not getting like hygromas and other swelling areas. Um, that's just kind of like how we get calluses on our feet. She's getting little calluses on her elbows. You could rub some, you know, coconut oil or something on there to keep them softer for her. Um, and But otherwise, that's just kind of normal part of wearing on those elbows. Okay, all right. Well, you answer, you ask your question too, 336-379-5775. We'll be back with one last segment right after this.